say that I knew Gary for years and years and fished together with him a lot and talked to him about every day, most winters, you know, and compared to weather up here to what it was like back in Missouri, I've told stories and we fished together for years. And I do know that, just want to say that Gary had a second love. He had his, had his family and he loved it, but this lake was his real love. If Gary got out on that lake, he just, he just glowed. And he lived for this lake. And I think that there is, a, most of us find that spiritual connection to this lake. And I, I, I'm sure Gary, Gary had that, and this is a great place for him. And I'm proud to say I was one of his friends. I hope he felt the same about me. I got to tell a short fishing story about Gary. <laughs> a short story. A true one? Yeah. yeah a, this one is true. I remember when I first started fishing with little Gary and big Gary, we'd go out in the boat together and we'd be out there fishing and, and uh, having a good time. And uh, of course, we get the lines all set down, or I should say little Gary would get the lines all set down while we were sitting there. And, and uh, usually in a boat, when you're out fishing, you know, the lines are popping and you're running for the lines. Well, not Big Gary and I, because we had a donut in one hand and a cup of coffee in the other hand. And it's like, you get it. No, you get it. You get it. You get it. And then finally, Gary would get frustrated and shake his head. And he'd walk up and grab the fish and he'd look at us and he'd say, I have no idea why you two even come out here. <laughs> That's funny. I'm uh, Mike Cuso. I'm the uh, judge that works at that courthouse that's just up the uh, hill. So when you heard that Gary was a bailiff up there, uh, he was my bailiff and I was so Excuse fortunate. me, Mike, can you speak up just a little bit? I was so fortunate that Gary was able to serve as my bailiff uh, as I was sitting as judge um, in the uh, courthouse up here. I got to see firsthand what Gary was able to do um, that, that people often didn't have an opportunity to see. He was a tremendous encourager. <coughs> I got to see people at their worst. He got to see people at their worst as they were in the courthouse, typically on criminal charges. And I would watch him go over to people that he had seen year after year after year and still have conversations with them, encouraging them uh, to turn their lives around, to be different, encouraging them, letting them know that they were able to do things um, that would not bring them back into the circumstances that we got to see them. He was a tremendous encourager for the people that we saw there. And personally, he was a tremendous encourager for me. Um, that was truly a gift. He was truly a gift. When I got to know Gary, it was uh, quite a few years ago, and uh, we got to know each other, and he started teaching all my daughters how to fish and then then I had to buy a boat so the daughters could go fish but one day we were walking out on the pier Gary and I and he said gee Dave my dream is maybe one of your daughters would marry my son well <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to say much because I'm kind of talk too much usually. I just want to say this place and this town and this lake won't be the same without Gary Radloff. And this is on his own and his family. Thank you. Win. <laughs> you go, Ellen. You bet. Ah, <laughs> uh, little Jack. Years ago, Jack was a little boy, and you know, Gary was such a bravado type of guy. That's when he was heavy and wore that little brown suit that he wore, and he'd stop by with a cigarette, prop his leg up on the picnic table. He was really a macho man. <laughs> but one day he came along with little Jack, and Jack was picking flowers in our garden for his mother, he wanted a bouquet, and my heart sunk. I thought, oh Gary, if you put that down, 
I'll die. If you put that child down who's picking that gentle bouquet. Gary, <laughs> Big Gary said, oh Jack, there's certain things you don't do when you make bouquets. You never want them to be overdone. And my heart, I thought, oh, and that's, I fell in love with Gary Radlock. Not for the macho man, for the little gentle man that he was. <laughs> that good. All right, well, if there are no more, well, I know some of them are probably more appropriate for after the service. Uh, as well, so. <laughs> Um, uh, we'll continue on with the service here. Uh, let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the time we were given with Gary. We thank you for the love and service that he lived during his time on earth. We ask you for comfort. We ask that you help us to remember him when we look upon this lake. We ask that you help us to be inspired to serve our fellow brothers and sisters. And we ask that you open our hearts love with the love of Jesus Christ, a love that knows no bounds, a love that cannot be defeated. In your name we pray, amen. Amen. I invite you to join me in praying the words our Savior has taught us to pray. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, in heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will be done, on, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses. trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And to your hands, O merciful Savior, we commend your servant, Gary Radloff. Acknowledge, we humbly beseech you, a sheep of your own fold, a lamb of your own flock, a sinner of your own redeeming. Receive him into the arms of your mercy, into the blessed rest of everlasting peace, and into the glorious company of the saints in life. But Gary, we will see you again in paradise. Now may the Lord bless us and keep us. May the Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious unto us. May the Lord look upon us with favor and give us peace. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. sing a song. <laughs> I don't know if I can do it. Uh, feel free to sing along. <laughs> <laughs>